Today I am back filming what is in P's Christmas stocking. How is that time of year already? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know whether this stocking is good or not. She's now of the age where she's into things. Um, I can't explain it. Like for the past couple of years I've basically just been doing it for myself but she's now like into stuff and I feel like there's like a big pressure to get it right and I laid everything out and I was like is this good? I don't know. So leave me a comment below once you finish watching it and let me know if you think it's a good stocking or if there's something that I can like add or improve or take away. Um, and this is the stocking, it's the same as always. She's now also getting to the point where I feel like I need to get a bigger one because some of the items are quite bulky. Um, but we'll see. So like always, this is the one that I got, I don't even know what year, 2000 and... Did Neil get this for her first Christmas, 2015? I think he did, 2015. So this bad boy has been with us for a very long time now. Um, it's from Mother Care. I need to get another one from Mother Care. It obviously won't be exactly the same, but I'd like the same sort of style for our new baby as well. Um, this was in the sale. I always say it was about eight pounds. I can't remember because I didn't pay for it myself. It's got the white trim and it's got the little characters and I just love it. I'm gonna pour everything out. Now, everything doesn't fit in this stocking this year. I can't remember if it did last year. Um, like I said, like I just look at it and I think it's a bit naff, but I just think that's because of what pees into. It's just like all like the shitty little bits, if that makes sense. Um, I'm sure she'll love it. So let's pull these bits over as well. I reckon I've got all this stuff this year bar two things, three things, which is quite good going for me. Normally I buy like way in advance, but this year I just stuck to doing it within the year. I got some stuff from the works, Poundland, a few bits from Bugs, and a website called, what is that website called? Uh, poundtoy.com or .co.uk. I'm a part of, um, why do I keep going dark? Um, I'm a part of like a Facebook like massive group that loads of people are in. I think it's like got one million followers on it. Um, and it's discounting bargains, like, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like extreme discounts for like sales stuff, so if someone finds like a good deal they put it on there and then everyone just goes apeshit for it. Um, so Pound Tour I've never heard of before, and it's basically this website where you can get like loads of little bits for ridiculous money so some of the stuff i got for like 20p um and i've just bundled it all together you had to pay for postage but i managed to get like 50 percent off the clearance stuff it works out really cheap so i'm just going to sit down and share with you what i've got first thing i've got is this secret life of pets key ring and this is gidget they had all of these in home bargains ages ago you'll probably see in one of my hauls i actually got the stuffed ones from poundland she's obsessed with secret life of pets she loved it uh was it last year she got into it i think it was she just absolutely loves it we've gone to go see number two uh, and i think because number two's come out all the merch of number one's come out really cheap um so this is gidget she's already got chloe um and this is the range this was 99p and I was did very well and held back and just got the one. But she's gonna love that. She'll probably put it on like on her school bag or somewhere. She'll probably play with it. So we've got Gidget, that was a pound. The other two things that I got from Bugs, these are like 10p. Um and she saw them and really liked them, so I was like, well, I'll just throw them in the trolley when you're not looking. Um and these are called button badges. It was just a one-off thing um that was in you know like where like the haberdashery section is where they've got like the sewing kits and the um, like lint removers and like knitting and stuff? That's where these were and these are the only two they had so they've got a flip flop and a little orange. Just a nice little badge for her. Like I said she's just into small little random stuff. So whether she puts them like on a bag or whether I buy her like a lanyard and she can start collecting pins I don't know. Um, but they're just nice little extras for her so i've got her two little badges 
Um, I think that's all I got from Bugs. I got two bits from Poundland, which I have had for such a long time. Um, and I was going to give them to her last year, but I thought she was too young. And now I think she's of the perfect age. She's really into Barbie at the moment. They do have these in Home Bargains, but like I said, I got them in Poundland. And they were cheaper in Poundland than what they are in Home Bargains. Um, and these are the little Barbie ones. Now these are tiny. They're like, see, look, they're like the length of my finger. Um, so I've got a blonde one and a brunette one. And they're like the holiday edition. So this one's San Francisco and this one's Tokyo. You basically put the dress on them and there's like this weird little love heart thing. I'm not too sure where it goes. I'm sure she'll like to like put these in the bath. So I'm really, really happy with those. She's going to absolutely love those little things. And like a pound for like actual legit Barbie, I didn't think was too bad at all. So she's got those. They've got like little stands and stuff that they're supposed to stand on. I think they'll go missing. But the actual little girls and stuff, she just loves little girls and like dressing things and undressing them. Sainsbury's, I've got bubbles. I always put bubbles within her stocking just because we use them throughout the year. So we'll use them in the bath, we'll use them when it gets warmer outside and things like that. So these are the Chad Valley ones. I think I got these last year in the toy sale for like 50p. Um, so just got a red thing of bubbles. From the works, I picked up these little puzzles. They had loads of these. If your child's a bit too young, no, sorry, a bit too old for this size, this is 20, so P can do this perfectly. Um, but the next size up, they have Disney Princess ones. Uh, and I want to say Thomas, I think. They got to 54 pieces, so I actually got one thinking that I should be able to do it madness she'll be doing that next year probably so this is a 20 piece pepper pig one so you've got daddy pig pepper and george reading a bedtime story and this was a pound which i thought was a really really good deal i don't think you can find these ones online i think it is just something that's in store but the pieces are like proper cardboard they're not cheap crap like bendy things they're like really durable um she's got one already and loves it so she's still into peppa pig but not massively like she'll still watch it and stuff but it's not consuming her life like it was last year um so i just got one of those which i think is a nice little extra uh and then oh i'll show you this because this was from b and I saw this ages ago and it was on the clearance section and it was only a pound and I can't remember how much it went down from. I think it went down from, I want to say like eight or nine pounds down to a pound and I was like, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to purchase it because it looks like something that she would enjoy. Um, I don't know why it was in the clearance, I have no idea, there was only one, if not I would have probably got a couple more. And it says TLC Critters, it says age 6 plus, but I think it'll be okay, I know LOL dolls are made for like a lot older, and so are Shopkins and stuff, and she plays with those sorts of things. Um, series 1, boy or girl, what a surprise, includes one set TLC Critter, um, and then it says, surprise poo or wee emoji. I don't know what this is. They look absolutely terrifying. They're like little cats or dogs. And I think this is like a litter tray. I have no bloody clue. I'm actually really intrigued to see what it's like. But for a pound, like it's a decent sized thing. It's pretty big. So I hope she enjoys it, whatever it is. It's like a blind bag thing. She's really into blind bags. So we've got a TLC critter food this year you'll see has slightly changed from last year um we've got a yo-yo bear she has been obsessed with wanting a sour one and i keep saying you won't like it just the word sour is making me salvate um i was like you won't like it she's like i will i will i will so i've got her one for her stocking um this flavor is apple and mango super sour bear i don't know how sour this is gonna be um, but she's got one of those. This is the first year that I've purchased sweets. <laughs> um, up to when she was three, I was like, oh, I don't really like her having chocolate. Keeps her quiet, so I give it to her now. And I know I was like really like anal about it. And now I'm like, oh yeah, have it for lunch, have it for breakfast, have it for dinner, I don't care. Obviously I'm not like that. But 
she does have it like if we go and see our friends and take over like a chocolate lolly and things like that i was very like precious about not giving her chocolate and now I don't know what the whole big deal was. Um, and I've also got her some fruit pastels. So I recently have really gotten into fruit pastels, just the tube ones. She saw these when we went to Aldi and she's like, these are my favorite. So I've got her some fruit pastels. Obviously she's not gonna have them all in one sitting. This will last her a while. They expire next July. So we've got loads of time to get through those. If not, I'll get through those. They were a pound from like, these ones were from Aldi, sorry. And these ones I got from Sainsbury's. These were a pound. Um, pink Smarties, so she loves a Smartie, as do I, uh, and these don't expire until August, so don't get me wrong, they're not going to be lying around for that long, because if not I will devour them, because I love a Smartie, but they are her little treats this year, so I've stayed away from like the baby snack, she's a big girl now, she's going to be four. I got her a bubble bath, but not a normal one, this is a vapour bubble bath, because winter time and nursery... Oh, and things like that just means ill and cold and just rank germs and this basically smells like fix i love this stuff and would run out so i thought let's buy her a new one and then it can go towards her christmas stocking she's not going to get excited by this but i always include like toiletries however this year i haven't got her a toothbrush she doesn't need one i've got two sealed i'm not going to buy one for the sake of her stocking yeah, so I've got her vapour bath, which I really swear by. This was from Asda. I think it was 89p or a pound. So we've got that one. And then the rest of the stuff, oh, I'm uncomfortable, is from the shop called Pound Toy. So you're going to have to bear with me on prices because I ordered this back in the summer and I really can't remember how much it all was. I remember some bits. So this was cheap. This is a little DIY crown. It's a little cheap novelty thing that she'll do and wear and play with on Christmas or around the festive period and then it'll go in the bin. Um, so it's like a little pink one. It's got stickers, you won't be able to see, but it's got stickers on it that you stick the gems on and then you make the crown to fit her head. And this was, it was like 30p, like it was ridiculous, which is why I added it into my bag. So she's got a nice little pink crown that she can get crafty with. And talking of crafts, I got her this, which is um, a Little Miss felt creation set. She loves Mr. Men and Little Miss like set things. If you watch my secondhand finds haul, you'll know that she really got into the books this year. Um, so this, you have one felt board and then four different colours. So this was originally two pounds which is cheap in itself and it went down to a pound she loves like her little felt board that she's got but she's only got one set so i thought a nice little extra little miss set wouldn't go miss so we've got one of those and with the crafty theme i picked her up these stickers now these are trolls i have trolls on the telly and she's just not interested in watching it so i'm hoping i can get her, get her into it soon um this was a sticker set you get 40 in here um, and this is what they look like. It's quite big, so I'm going to have to like, try and bend the box to fit into the stocking. But that's all of the stickers that you get in there. It's just a nice little extra, I think. Kids love stickers. Um, and this was 50p. Yeah, it was 50p. I wouldn't have paid more than that. Um, this I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Minions colouring set. You get eight mini colouring pages and six washable markers. So that's what that looks like. I don't know. Oh, it opens up like a book. Hang on. Is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. Can you tell I haven't opened this? That is so cool. Um, let me turn it around. So you've got, they're like little cards in here. So you can pull these ones out. You see? And you've got loads of different minions. And then you've got the colours. So these are the colours that you've got. I think that's really cool. Um, so that is perfect for when... I'm just conscious of getting things that are going to keep her busy. Especially when I'm... If we're out and I've got the baby. And I need to do a feed. Other than snacks, I still need to keep her entertained. So I thought something like this would be fab. I can fit it in the changing bag or underneath the um, push chair, and she will be able to do some colouring. 
Um, I didn't realise that open like that. I thought that, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, so that's by Crayola. So I can imagine this would have been quite expensive, but this cost me a pound, I think. Um, epic. They did have loads of different ones, but this is the only one I could get in the sale price. Um, so she's got Minions. I've got this little thing, which I thought was a bath toy. Um, but it's not. It's one that you whiz on the hardwood floor, which is fine. It's called a... Um, it's Finding Dory. It's called a Swiggle Fish. So, she's getting into um, Nemo now. So, I think you just pull it along and then it races along on the floor. So, she'll find that fun. Um, and this was 50p or a pound. So, that's that. And that's, like, legit. It's not, like, crap stuff. Like, it is proper... Um, so I really like that. To go again with the little um, minion set, I found these on the website. These were 50p each. They're a lot smaller than what I thought that they would be. Um, they said like mini markers, but this is like extreme mini. So we have got gel and neon. Not going to lie, I don't know what that means. Obviously I know what gel is. They are washable, which I've just realised, which is the main thing because when P opens pens, she opens them like like she opens them like this, and she ends up drawing across her body. It drives me up the wall. Um, so what colours have we got in the gel set? We've got a purple, blue, yellow, and pink. They were fifty p. Um, and then in the neon set, we've got orange, green, like a lighter blue, and pink. So again, I thought these were fab for changing bags. They are literally so small. Something that she's going to absolutely love for the bath is a Barbie face cloth. I remember having one of these when I was younger. When you first use it, and you obviously it's in a cube, and you open it, and you see all the, the design. I think she's going to absolutely love it. It's 30 centimetres by 30. Proper little Barbie face cloth. And this was... 25p I think so that is what that one looks like and then finally from pound toy I got some of these because they're blind bags I think they're hard I thought they were going to be soft I don't know what she's got um, and they are series one figure charms so they're like key rings This is what they look like, and I've got two of those. They went down from two pounds to a pound uh, by the brand Tomy. I've never seen them in like Poundland or anything like that, so I think she's gonna. She just loves blind bags and like things that are like a surprise and things like that. So she's got those as well. I think they look quite cool. Let's hope she gets some good ones. I don't think she'll get duplicates. Fingers crossed. So that is everything that P has got in her. Christmas stocking 40,019. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think she's going to really like the things that she's got. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you think of anything that you think I should add. I was going to put Shopkins and things in there, but it's just going to get too obsessive. Not too obsessive. Just too much. And I think like Shopkins on their own is like a nice little gift to be like round the tree as opposed to stocking. So... Yeah, I think I did really well. Still really low cost. I don't think this cost me more than £10. I'm chuffed with the things that I got. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.